Over the past year, I posted one real TikTok shorts every single day. The 360 plus reels shot edited and shared. And let me tell you, I've learned quite a bit on how to get the best quality out of DaVinci Resolve. I made a similar video last year, but since then I actually changed a few things. So I just wanted to have you guys all on the same level and you all can export the best video quality possible for social media. Now I'm not saying this is the best way to do it. I'm not saying this is the right way to do it. This is just what works for me. And many people have asked me, so why not remaking this video once and for all? how to export Instagram Reels in 2024. First thing first, your project settings are very important. You gotta set that timeline to 30 frames per second and to vertical 1080p HD resolution. This is because most social media platforms use 30 frames per second, so you want to match that. You don't wanna export in 24 because it's just gonna to look too jittery. And then you wanna export in HD, even though you're editing a 4K footage, you have to downscale that to 1080p because most social media platforms use 1080p as resolution, which means if you upload in 1080p, there's less compression, which means better quality. It's also very important that you set your color space to DaVinci Wide Gamut and your color gamma to Rec. 709 Gamma 2.4 to make the best out of your DaVinci usage. This is a wider color space that when you edit, you just have more capability. You can push colors more rather than just have a Rec. 709 workspace. Then just edit whatever you're editing, your reel, TikTok, YouTube short, whatever it is, and let's hop into the delivery page. Now make sure that everything is set to 30 frames per second on HD 1080p vertical resolution. Then let's hop down to the codec. I use QuickTime and I use H.264 because it's the widest codecs used throughout social media and most people are using iPhones anyway, so QuickTime is just easier for me to export since I'm working on a Apple to Apple workspace, so I just feel like QuickTime looks better than MP4, so I use QuickTime. Then let's scroll down to quality. Here you can play around with it, but I just find it automatic works perfect for me, so I just leave it on to automatic. Let's now click onto the advanced settings, and here you have to set a few things that can actually take your reels to the next level. It's very important that you set your color space tag and your gamma tag to the right one. You can leave it as a timeline, but you might see that when you upload it, it just doesn't look right. You lose a bit of color. So after a bit of research, I actually found that P3 DCI, it is the best absolute color space tag you can use because it's used by the film industry and it's also used by most of the smartphone company, which is what we're using for social media, which means we want to use P3 DCI as color space tag. And then down there on the gamma tag, you want to make sure that you put sRGB sRGB is the widest used gamma for social media and it's just the one that looks the best and works the best. So make sure you select these two. Then you scroll down and you've got to make sure that you select these two little text here, which pretty much uses all of DaVinci's capabilities and it doesn't compress the footage as much and you just export to the highest quality you can. Another thing that I tick is burn the subtitles into the video because I make some of my TikTok, some of my YouTube shorts with subtitles, which I want them to be burned into the video and not exported as a separate file. So I make sure to just click that. So whenever I export a video with subtitles, the subtitles are there and not just as a separate SRT file. Then let's move on to audio. Usually audio, I just leave AAC, which is just works for me. But I had this problem sometimes that I exported a video or a reel and the audio was a bit weird and scratchy. So if that happens to you, you can just switch from AAC to linear PCM and that should solve it. Now, everything is done. This is exactly how I export all of my reels, TikTok and shorts. But before we leave you, just make sure to save this as a preset. So go up on the three little dots up here click it, save as a new preset, call it whatever you want, and you're done. I hope you guys learned something new from this video. I hope you can export your videos, your reels a lot better. And if you did so, leave a like and subscribe and all of those things. And I'll see you guys next week in the next video. I'm out of breath. Whew. I just had like three coffees, so I'm super hyper. All right, see you guys.